Kim Wall investigators find saw and see near Copenhagen. Forensic experts are working to establish if the saw was used to dismember the journalist's body after she died. Divers have found a saw that may have been used to dismember the body of Swedish journalist Kim Wall. The item was found in Koge Bay, south of Copenhagen, where Ms. Wall's headless torso was found 11 days after she disappeared on 10 August. The Swedish writer's head and legs were found in plastic bags on 6 October. Ms. Wall was last seen as she sailed with inventor Peter Madsen and his homemade submarine in waters off Copenhagen. A photo apparently showing Kim Wall standing in the tower of the private submarine in Copenhagen Harbor. Copenhagen Police Inspector Jens Mahler Jensen said, The saw is now being examined by our forensic technicians to determine whether it is the saw police have been looking for in connection with the submarine case. Madsen, 46, who has been in custody since 11 August, has denied homicide and mutilating a body. He initially told police Ms. Wall died when a 70 kg hatch door fell on her head and that he panicked and threw her body overboard. But the recovery of her head contradicts his version of events, as police said an autopsy showed no sign of fracture on the skull and there isn't any sign of other blunt violence to the skull. Prosecutors believe Peter Madsen killed Ms. Wall to act out a sexual fantasy. Locating Wall's head had been crucial to investigators, as the final autopsy on the torso was unable to establish the cause of death. However, it did show multiple mutilation wounds to Wall's genitals. Prosecutors believe Madsen killed her as part of a sexual fantasy, then dismembered and mutilated her body. Investigators found a hard disk in Madsen's workshop that contained fetish films in which women were tortured, decapitated and burned. Madsen has refused to cooperate with investigators since the head and legs were found, prosecutor Jacob Butch Jepsen said on Wednesday. Danish and Swedish authorities are also taking a fresh look at unsolved murders involving mutilated women to see if there is any link to Madsen. Please subscribe my channel.